All right, this is Travis with POSGuys.com. Today we're gonna to talk about adding precision to your 2D barcode scanners. So we've pushed 2D barcode scanners for quite a while. Uh, they scan much better than 1D scanners. They scan in all conditions, good barcodes, bad barcodes. It reads a lot better. So overall, it's a much better product. But one advantage that older laser scanners had over uh, first generation 2D scanners was the fact that it was much more precise. So if you had a label, like so where you have a bunch of barcodes grouped together and you were having to scan just a certain one like a serial number then uh, you either had to uh, cover up barcodes so i think we've all done that um, or you had to um, find ways to uh, get more precise or use a laser barcode scanner well zebra in their current generation of 2d scanners added a really easy uh, to use function called picklist mode. So I'll put the link to the barcode in uh, this video, but essentially as soon as you scan the picklist pick mode, it enables precision in the barcode scanner. And so using the reticle, wherever the circle is, is what will scan. So I have that same label here. If I want to scan just a serial number, I just put the circle over the serial number and scan, and it scans just that serial number. If I want the uh, country code, I scan that. Uh, if I want the part number, scan that. So you can see it's very, very precise. Uh, the version of um, the pickless mode that I picked makes it just regular in the stand. So once you put it back in the stand, then it'll scan the first barcode it sees. So it can rapid fire scan that way. Uh, and then when you need to get precise, you just take it out of the scan. So that's the first way to add precision to a 2D barcode scanner. The second way to add precision to a barcode scanner is to add barcode priority. In order to do barcode priority, you're gonna to have to download the 123 scan. I'll put a link below uh, to our website where you can download 123 scan. You'll need to plug in your scanner, connect it into the program, uh, and then select your scanner. Uh, there's a 123 scan tutorial video that I'll put a link to as well for kind of the basics of how to use 123 scan. In 123 scan, what you're going to need to go to is symbologies or barcode types. So you click on that and it's going to bring up a new tab. And it's going to ask you to select symbology to modify. So one of the easy ways to be very specific on what barcodes you're scanning is to uh, disable all the symbologies you don't want to use. So if you're only doing UPC codes, disable everything except UPC codes, and then that's all you can scan. But if you want to do some UPC codes, some code 128, which is normally the serial number, or PDFs or QR codes, you know, if you want to do a little bit, then you have to just set a prioritization. So under select symbology, you can select uh, preferred symbology enable it and then under options you can select the codes that you want to prioritize so click the edit button and uh, for this box that we have we, there's both uh, PDF 417 and code 128 on it I'm going to prioritize the PDF 417 uh, normally you want to uh, do the 1D code, so usually like the UPC or the code 128, but just for this example, I'm gonna do the PDF 417. I'm gonna save that. One other thing you can do is you can put in criteria. So if you go to view, edit here. So what you can do is kind of uh, do a string matching or a size matching type of thing. So if you know the barcode you prefer, all starts with the number, uh, 100, you know, it starts 100. Then you could put that in and you could prioritize uh, barcodes that start with the number 100. Additionally, if uh, it always has a barcode at a certain position, you know, in the fourth spot, there's always a four. You could put something like that in. You can get creative. You can just set links. You know, you prioritize 10 digit barcodes. All other barcodes are secondary. You can put that in as well. Um, so uh, if you have the same symbology, but patterns you want to match, you can do that. It also adds uh, precision. 
Uh, Multi-code, we're not gonna worry about here. That's if you're trying to scan uh, like every label on the box at once and then you wanna put it out um, in a certain order. Then multi-code can scan every barcode at the same time and always output it the same way, uh, which is pretty cool, but that's not what we're trying to do here. Right now, we're just trying to pick one out of many barcodes. Uh, so uh, you can add this in. You can also add pick list mode at the same time, and you can change any other features you want to. And we're gonna load this up into our scanner. Click load to all scanners. If you have uh, multiple scanners, then you can plug them in using the same configuration file uh, and then just pick which scanners you want to have the configuration. All right, we're done. And I'm gonna exit out of 123 scan. Go back to Notepad here. Let my scanner reinitialize. So now when I take that box, there's a PDF 417 on there and it should prioritize that. Which it is. So the PDF 417 contains all the data in the 1D barcodes at once. So that. And you can see it's giving me the part number, the, the country code, and the serial number all in a single scan. Try it again. I'll even scan off the side and we'll see if it picks up the PDF 417. That one picked up the serial number. That picked up uh, the barcode where I kind of put it in the center right there is where I put the dot. So um, that's kind of two ways to, three ways actually to be more precise with your 2D barcode scanner. The easiest thing is to enable pick list mode. Second way is to disable symbologies you don't use. And third way is to add symbology with preference. Um, so hopefully that helps you and uh, makes your 2D barcode scanner even better. This is for Zebra model barcodes scanners only. For uh, DataLogic or Honeywell, they have a different way of um, getting more precise. Uh, kind of cheaper 2D scanners that aren't from uh, a major brand don't really have any of these features at all. They are like the older gen 2D barcode scanners that you're gonna just scan everything. There's not a way to make it more precise. So that's one of the reasons we really uh, like the current generation of barcode scanners, especially the new Zebra ones, which are uh, quite affordable for really good performance. For more information on barcode scanners or to purchase, please visit us at posguys.com. Thanks.